Hey there, pro tips for paras. We are on day, what, 24? This is day 24. We're taking a seat on the ground. You can do this movement, yoga, stretching journey with us on your bed, on the floor, on the plinth, uh, outside, on the ground, wherever you can find that flat surface. Myself, Snell, and Sierra, both T6 level complete paraplegics. And she's day 24, finally put the onus on me. So <laughs> first we will do a breathing exercise. I really enjoy the pranayama that we were doing where you plug your right nostril with your right thumb and you take your two middle fingers, hold my hand in front of the dark shirt, check that out for videoing, <laughs> put your fingers down. <laughs> And then you get your ring finger and your pinky finger on your left nostril. And we breathe in through. So plug your right nostril with your right thumb. Can I just press something? In through your left. Who decided this? What? Like one day they just figured, let's use these fingers. Well, it turns off your brain, I suppose. I want to know how they figured this out. We'll, we'll go figure out some science after. Okay. And we'll explain it later. And go learn something. I just know the first time I did this, it was really great, and I actually mellowed out for a minute. So, right thumb, right nostril, in through your left, for a count of four. And then switch, plug your left nostril, and out for four. Three, four, and in, and out. And in, and out. Closing your eyes. Out for four. On your own. Grounding down through your butt into whatever you're sitting on. One last breath. All right. Now, I should have sat like Sierra did because I can feel my spasms going crazy right now from my hips. So today, it's a lower body focus. I'm mad from sitting too much and not moving enough as we are in chairs. So my hips, my guts, my flexors of everything, my ankles all choked. So starting at the ankles, I'm just going to flex the foot up, and bending forward as far as you can. I pull on the pad of my foot. Also sometimes hold my knee. And don't forget to breathe. Be careful not to overstretch yourself if you haven't done this in a while. Oh, don't back off. Don't let the spasms happen. <laughs> Switch to the other foot. Oh, stretching. I feel it a lot. What is it, the ACL at the back? 
Oh, it's super tight. Well, I feel it there too, but like this, this thing on your foot. Underneath. One last breath in. And we'll sit back up. <laughs> Shake it out for a minute. Sure, that's great if you got somebody around or you can get there. <laughs> So next, I'm gonna spread your legs a little ways apart and tuck one knee. We are going to bend over to your extended. We've got our left extended out. Folding forward at the hips. Again, like Sierra, she's a nice ballerina. You can get right over. If you can't get all the way over, as far as you can, just breathing into it. Listen to your body. through your nose and out through your mouth. And one last breath. And switch, we'll, or fall over and then do it. <laughs> Get there. <laughs> this is why I sleep alone in a king size bed. Like, pardon me. <laughs> Don't mind me in Sierra's business all the time. <laughs> yeah. I'm so tight in my hips right now. I can. What? I say I feel, but it's. I sense the stretch <laughs> in my right hip right now. If you want to use a pillow for something like this, so that you get a little bit more rounding in your lower spine, you can stick it on top of your thigh and lay over that. Tell me if I'm telling them anything wrong that I shouldn't be. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Maybe I'll do one and one and one. And one. <laughs> Last breath. Yeah, well, if we both want to benefit from this, we do voiceovers forever. <laughs> All right, so since we're like nearly there anyways, 
we'll, we'll point the knees the one direction, right? Like the running man. So you look like you're going really fast. My right knee is on my left foot. And which way do we twist? We twist this way. Right knee in, left knee out. Sitting up. Just, I don't know. <laughs> Find what's comfortable in this position. Um, it will. No, but also, it's like all of the. So everybody's got that scoliotic curve, some form of it. Uh, some are worse than others, like mine. I'm saying all because I don't think I know anyone who does really good. Yeah, it's, well, as soon as the muscles atrophy, your spine's allowed to fall wherever it wants to go. So I almost enjoy m the movement in this position because it's engaging and, and stretching all of these little of tiny I don't even, little tiny muscles holding and and tendons and ligaments holding your hip bones in your sockets and we sit on that all day long so any movement is good you should probably switch now <laughs> was that through i probably talked through that whole thing yeah. sorry <laughs> and now we go left knee in, right knee out. I gotta get out of Sierra's way. <laughs> Take this running man over here. And <laughs> it's like trying to plant both butt cheeks. Right? Yeah. Well, like doctors lie. <laughs> We're complete Asia A injuries, which means we should have nothing below here. We feel tight. We feel bloating. We feel. Yeah. Sore ribs. Good. We should jump back on that thing today. <laughs> All right, now <laughs> Yeah. I'm with you. You're right there. <laughs> Sticking your feet together. What is this called? The butterfly. Yeah, perfect. So we <laughs> sticking the pads of your feet together. I've got very weak ankles, so I stick my hands underneath of them so that they don't roll as badly. And then I can kind of hold them and pull them towards myself. So you tuck your chin in, lean forward. Again, be careful you're not overstretching pieces of you that have been neglected for a little bit. Trying to lean far enough forward that you can feel your pelvis rotate. And again, an unfamiliar position for somebody that sits on it all the time. Oh, if I hold them the other way, pushing your elbows into your knees. My, well, I can get there. <laughs> yeah. uh, 
I also have really hypermobile joints, so my knees fall further than many. Don't forget to breathe. Last out. Whatever position you found yourself in. Come back to center. And finally, this one is again advanced, but it feels so great. And so we'll end on this. You can continue to stay in this position if you can't get into the pigeon. Is that called a pigeon? I think it's a pigeon. So this is another one that I like to do leaning forward. You can do that. But we are going to manipulate well, ourselves into the into the pigeon. <laughs> right. <laughs> Limtastic over here. So, left knee is forward, right leg is straight back, and I'm going to roll on top of my left knee. What's that? other direction so people can see what's happening. I am going to. <laughs> All right. So this is a better position to see what's going on. <laughs> right leg, back all the way, left one. And a cockeyed. Definitely not the easiest position to get into, but so worth it once you do. You could also do just lying on your front, do the cobra. Up on your elbows, through your hands. Switch. I, I, could, I could stay in that position forever. <laughs> been this tight for a while. Pardon me. And then I took days off. Oh. Right? <laughs> That's okay. It's nice to have all this space. Breathing into the stretch. Don't fall. 
falling over. See her in the cobra position, stretching out the hip flexors in a much more gentle fashion. So, I get a little bit of, um, I guess, <laughs> the, the dysreflexic reaction when I stretch things. Um, I get it when I lean forward and stretch my ankles and pull my feet back towards myself as well. It's not the best thing, but I do it anyways because it's good for you. <laughs> One more breath in whatever position you come to. Gently maneuver yourself out of it. Oh. <laughs> Don't kick anybody in the face. <laughs> so, <clears throat> thank you for joining Sierra and myself to now on day 24 of our movement yoga stretching journey to 30. We are going to lie back in Shavasana and ground ourselves because being on wheels all day, we don't do that enough. And set your intention. Be mindful of your neighbors, respectful of others, and try and love everybody as best you can. Hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, and the little bell. And we are coming to the tail end of this 30-day journey. Thanks, everybody. <laughs>